The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 15th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make this one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you've got a question and you can't call in, Stevie's got your back. You can always send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then we'll in any. And every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We've got a sea of green out there. Dow's up 436, 1%. One and quarter percent for the S&P are 70 points. Nearly 2% for the NASDAQ, 363 points. Russell's up 52, 2.5%. Two 3.5% and a half percent. Three and a half for the semis. That's up 172. Trendy's up 233. We got a rally going on. That spot politics is below its 50-day exponential moving average. It's trading below uh, yesterday's low out there. That supports this rally. And we may see quite a rally over the next several, uh, maybe the next week or so we take the goldilocks up 13 bucks silver's up a buck 15 that's a four and a quarter percent move there light screen crew we're looking at the october contract now up one and six tenths percent that's a one and a quarter a one a dollar 24 trade out at 7708 natural gas up six pennies taking our resistance of a swing point 30 year treasury is down a point and a half print out at 12303 our leaders in the clubhouse are Meli uh, Mercado Libre, M E L I is the ticker symbol there, 71.81, nearly 4%. Alta Beauty, 40 bucks, 12%. Monolithic Power Systems, 42 bucks, nearly 5%. Asmill Holdings, 32 bucks, 3.5%. And, and KLA Corp is up 4%, uh, 31 bucks basically to the upside. Our shaker to the downside, our shakers are McKesson Corp, off $8 and change, 1.5%. So good, Inc. isn't so good. It's down 29%. That's a $6 move. Equinix off five, a little less than 1%. Investment Manager Services off five bucks, 13%. And Sega Technologies down 36%. That is a $4 haircut out there. So what do you want to look at? Well, let's go start off by taking a look at where's that New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator. Yesterday was day number two to the upside. Today is day number three. Uh, likely going to go target that 150 level. That's when we get to a overbought condition. Conditions are not overbought right now. With regard to the advanced decline oscillator, conditions are bullish. We take a look at the spot volatility index. It is trading below yesterday's low. Bottom left-hand panel, we can see we're below the 50-day exponential moving average, which is at 1708. We're printed at 14. 97. Odds would favor we're going to go target the bottom of that Bollinger Band, and that's at 1056. And if that's what unfolds, yeah, we're going to see a continuation of this rally. Doesn't That's not saying every day, although you can see that uh, since we've really come off of the lows out here, and the lows I'm referring to were last Monday, August the 8th out there, all we've seen are higher lows and, quite frankly, higher highs that are in place. So that's what's going on with those two instruments. Uh, where else is it that there could be a pit stop? Well, let's go take a look at the perigee pivot points. 
Perigee pivot point has resistance inside the ES mini. And this is the price target is at 5570. If there's going to be a turn, we haven't looked at the intraday charts, which we will. But if there's going to be a turn to the downside, I would expect it would be the perigee pivot point at 5570. The other perigee pivot point to be watching is inside the NQ. Uh, its level is 19768.50. So that's those are two critical. I'd write those numbers down on your pad of paper. Those are two critical levels that if price gets up there, you want to watch the price behavior out there. What else do we have here? You know, we had that pullback in gold earlier this morning, and all that was doing was basically getting down towards this perigee pivot point. It still remains above it. Those conditions are bullish out there. Silver's got a ways to go. Lights recruit, that's a September contract, so we won't spend any time there. So let's go ahead and move over to our other charts out here, and let's start digging down into the uh, details. Let's begin by taking a look at the NQ. And to do that, let's see if we get over here to screen number two. So on a daily time frame, what you can see, or here I'll expand out the chart, might make it a little easier to see. You can see that price is now contending with the top of its daily profile. That is where sellers exist. So this is going to be important come day's end. It's going to be important tomorrow as well. 19,480. And if price closes above this 19,480 level, that will be in a bullish condition configuration and suggest higher price. Now, you might say, where's higher price, DB? The higher price level would be at this stage here, Fibonacci areas. 15,596. Did I say 15? I meant 19,596 uh, is the uh, 0.618 retracement level. So I would say if you close above that, odds favor a move to the 2206 level. That would be the 0.786 retracement area we take a look at the NQ. So we know we're up towards resistance on a daily time frame. If this is going to be resistance that holds, we should start seeing intraday topping patterns. Turns out on the five hour time frame chart, nothing exists. The only topping signal on a five hour time frame chart is a CD9 count breakdown level 19682 another number worth noting on your pad of paper 196 uh 19682 out there if we look at the four hour time frame chart no topping signal but price likely targeting this breakdown level of 19667 and a quarter each of these numbers that i provide to you are areas of potential resistance or where a turn could happen. You'd like to see some type of pattern that unfolds as price gets to those areas. The two hour time frame chart, no topping signal. The 60, no topping signal. The 30 minute, no topping signal. The 15 minute has a TD9 count top. That's going to go ahead and complete at 1115, two minutes from now. The key level to write down here to the upside is 19,514.75. You close above that on a 15 minute basis, you continue to head higher out there. It would negate that signal very quickly. To the downside, what you're watching is 19,424-ish. That's the oscillator unchanged line. If we uh, uh, move down there, test and reject that, continue moving higher, that would be a bullish signal out there. Uh, I see a 10-minute uh, momentum indicator top, but price here, well, if it closes above the high that we already looked at, again, let me just give you that number, that high out here would be 19,514.75. That pattern gets negated as well. You know, so there are the 10 and 15 minute charts going to control things. I don't think so. But we could see some short term uh, pullbacks out there again, just trying to come back and test support. And inside the NQ, again, that number is 19 425. Steve Rhodes with TFNN would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. But if not, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. And I'll be happy to field your request. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Back, folks, let's take a look at the ES Mini. Do the same thing here. Daily time frame as well, above any kind of resistance. The next price target would be about 55.89. That's 0.786 retracement of its entire leg to the downside out there. If we look at the five-hour time frame chart, no topping signals suggest a run towards the 5600 area. Well, 55.89. You know, on the daily time frame was at 0.786, so that becomes your price targets. It's negated a TD9 count top, so it should be able to get up to that level out there. Forward time frame chart does not have any kind of a topping pattern out here. Uh, 55, 95, 75 is its price target at TD9 count breakdown resistance level. Nothing on the 120 minute chart, nothing on the 60. Now, on the 30 minute time frame chart, you are in bar number nine. That will complete, uh, confirm at the 1130 out there. That pattern will complete at 12 noon. So the ES Mini is suggesting we could see some type of short term top between 1130 and 12. If that does, in fact, unfold, we then should see a retracement back towards the 5527 level. Otherwise, there are no other uh, topping signals. So it would just be about the 30. Of course, when you see this here, when you see a 30 minute, what you'd like to do, and I'll pull them up on the screen here. It'll take a moment to, to uh, populate. But what you really like to see is you like to see a signal that's coming from at least three of the four uh, intraday time periods. In other words, do three of the four or at least two of the four have uh, topping patterns for a 30 minute time frame. And that's what we're gonna find out. I do not know the answer to that question, but in essence, this is what I do in the morning, what I'm doing for subscribers as I'm going through things, I'm looking at time periods, and then looking to see if we've got um, a synergistic time period. So the ES Mini, you can see the TD9 count. Whereas on the 30 minute NQ, that was for the ES on the NQ, we're only in bar number seven. Uh, no TD9 count for the uh, YM, it's gonna have to poke above bar number six. 
And uh, but the uh, Russell 2000. So two of these four do have some topping signals. You prefer to see more than that, quite frankly. But uh, we'll we'll uh, watch, so watch those two on a 30 minute time frame out there. Uh, whether it's the high uh, of this bar, this 1130 bar, the high of the uh, 12 noon bar, that I don't know. But that's what you would be watching for. And again, the retracements would be back to support. We're above profile levels for the ES Mini, so support has to be that oscillator and change line. That is not the case with the Russell. The Russell has support at 2146. That's the top of its profile. Trade above that right now. 2133 and finally 2119 out there. So that's what's going on intraday with regard to the ES and the NQ. Why don't we take some time here? Not that uh, we have that many requests in. We are at request number four so far, but still, let's go ahead and get to those. We can always come back to this intraday stuff out here. And the first one we're going to take a look at is for Fletch inside the Tiger's Den, and it is ticker symbol LNG. So we take a look at uh, liquid natural gas out there. This is Chenier Energy. Uh, what we can see here is we're at new all-time highs today. Now, that's a beautiful thing to celebrate. The one caution sign that we have out here, Fletch, would be we are in bar number nine on a weekly basis. And as long as price closes on Friday above 181.93, you'll have a confirmed TD9 count top. Now, remember, because the high can come on the bar following bar number nine. So this suggests that uh, LNG on a weekly basis should form some type of intermediate intermediate term top between this Friday and next Friday out there. The monthly chart looks uh, beautiful, no topping signals above profile, at new all-time highs, and on a daily time frame, no topping signals, Rhodes momentum indicator pattern has been triggered, that requires a bearish reversal candle, we're above profile, above its green oscillator and change line, all of this suggests a continued move higher in Chenier Energy. If we look at its stand steps out here, see if there's anything unusual. Um, and no, not really. And today we're only in day, day number two to the upside. So not seeing any kind of a signal that uh, that the weekly TD9 count top is getting ready to take hold. So what I'd be watching for here, Fletch, would be the daily time frame. We know the weekly has a potential to top this week or next week. If that's going to come to fruition, I would think we would see the top take place on the daily time frame. In other words, we don't have to go down to a 30-minute chart or a 65-minute chart. What you'd be looking for here is some type of bearish reversal candle to then confirm that, okay, maybe the weekly is going to pull back. Now, the pullback that we're referring to here may only be to 178.66 or 175.68. A counter trend move to the downside under retracement fletch would find support at the 175.68 level, the center of its bare structured weekly profile that price closed above last week. So that's all I see when I take a look at LNG. As always, thanks so much for your request. Hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. We're going to take another look here at SWIM. S-W-I-M is the uh, ticker symbol. Now, SWIMs, they make great shoes. I think they make them for ladies these days now. Uh, but they, they are, the they are well, they're my favorite beach shoes. That's for sure. Uh, you can walk in the water with those things. I mean, they're, they're, they are wonderful. But with regard to SWIM, that's not what we're talking about here. Uh, we're talking, I think SWIM has something to do with pools and stuff like that. Something, something to do with the swimming business maybe latham group is the uh is the actual name of the company so when we take a look at this what do we see we don't see any kind of a topping signal on the daily time frame and so this wants to continue to trade higher if we take a look at the weekly time frame let's just open up the weekly time frame that's a beautiful thing roads momentum indicator bottom that was formed way back november 3rd of 2023 out there and this thing has just continued to move higher now where is this thing going to go target um, I've got to put up more of my, on a weekly basis, let me put up a few more of my uh, TD9 count breakdown levels out here. So I think we only have three. That's a stat. We got two. Let's just put uh, five out here so we can kind of give Dan some price targets. Wow. So this says the next price target, the upside would be 1314. We're at 598. Let's come take a look at the daily time frame out here. By the way, the monthly chart is all out bullish. This stock is all out bullish all the way. Is there an A to B equal CD pattern? Maybe that's what we should look at. And the answer there is not really. It was really more of a consolidation we've made. I can see where it's made, at least that measured move out there. Um, I'm going to put up a whole lot more days out here. So you're in bar number seven, Dan, 
I, I just have to say that this has the potential to top between a uh, short term top that is between Friday and Tuesday of next week. Now, the problem is you'd really like to see some if that were to unfold, you'd like to see Pullman. Thank you. Uh, you'd like to see um, a new profile form. Because when you get those TD, any kind of a top out there, what typically happens, not a guarantee, it's what it's high probability, is our price will pull back and find support. In lieu of any profiles, the only support level here is that oscillator and change line. Even if I look at the weekly or the monthly, there's not anything out there that is above 488, which is where that green oscillator and change line is printing right now. Now, this has had some pretty large moves. Let's, let's take a look at this. How many days consecutively to the upside are we now? This would be bar number seven to the upside. So there is also suggestion at some point in time, this is going to tire out. As we pull this chart back, just looking to see if there's any other time period for the, for the uh, days that I've got up here where we've got seven consecutive moves to the upside. Do we have that? I do see one, and it's all the way back here, and this was on the trading day of June 6 of 2022. Now that got to a uh, bar number, well, it got to eight consecutive higher closes. And boy, that was a top out there. Now, I don't know what was going on with regard to topping signals back in uh, June of 2022. You know, Dan, I just uh, recommend going back and taking a look at that, knowing that at least with regard to consecutive moves higher, we're looking at that same kind of pattern. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We've got requests to go take a look at Micron, MU, and PPTA. I think it's TA. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and technique to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July July 26, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at um, Micron. MU is the uh, ticker symbol out here, trading out at 1068. So you have a profile change in trend for the daily time frame, John. Uh, that uh, was a bearish structured profile. Price closed above it on uh, August the 13th and the following session that gave you your profile change in trend. We see higher highs. We see higher lows out there. Uh, this should continue to rally. I don't have really a day. The next daily price target would be 135.35. I'm not saying price is going to go there because even if we do get the continuation of this rally, the next resistance point would be at about 121.45. That would be the bottom of its weekly profile. The sun is at 129.47. That would be another upside target. Now, let's go to the monthly chart here. The monthly chart is the uh, it has a, a TD9 count top. As that was forming, the daily chart was forming a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. That was back on June the uh, 20th when we had that confirmation. What's transpired on the move lower is that price got back and tested and rejected the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 98.31. That's the work that's been done this month. At the moment, price is trading above its green oscillator and change line. So therefore, that indicates to us we should expect or anticipate a further rally. Well, that's what we're seeing on the daily time frame, John. We take a look at uh, Micron. And on a weekly basis, although we don't have a topping signal there like we did on the daily and the week on the monthly out there, uh, nothing has been broken. In other words, on the weekly uh, chart out here, even though it was up at a one near 160, you'd have to close below 76.97. That was its breakout level, the last breakout area out there. The um, so that suggests that it wants to move higher. So I think Micron wants to move higher, but to where? At this stage here, we've got four consecutive days to the upside. Um, so. I would say tomorrow, the next day, certainly by Monday, you got to expect a one or two day pullback in this uh, in this uh, move out here. Uh, again, nothing is showing on my screens to suggest that at the moment. That would just be something that I would anticipate out there. So, John, I hope that that provided with the information you were looking for. I believe you are in that and long that. So uh, congrats to you on uh, Micron. LB wanted to take a look at PPTA. PPTA is an instrument that he's been in for some period of time and is looking for, uh, you know, is there a top in this thing and where is that top? That's one heck of a day you are having today out here, trading at 813. Now, what makes it a nice one heck of a day is really that monthly time frame chart. So let's open that up first. And on a monthly basis, prices trade above 783. Granted, we are early in the month. Nonetheless, that is a breakdown level out here. So that is not suggesting at any stretch of the imagination that you would sell this, at least that's in a monthly, still a long time to come. Maybe that does hold this resistance. So if that's going to hold this resistance, is there a top on the weekly time frame? That'd be the question I asked myself. I believe I just asked that. And the answer to that, that question is no, there's absolutely no top there. We're trading above the green oscillator and change line. We are trading above profile resistance. So its next price target is at 861. Our high today so far has been at 834. So you want to watch the 861 level uh, LB. That now, I don't have any kind of a top. It can be a top getting back to a breakdown area. But that's the area that you would be looking for price to be able to close above. If it does, that's going to signal a further rally to you. So 861 is going to be your next price target. But we like what the monthly looks like. If we look at the daily time frame, which is just simply going to open up and do out there, you're getting a confirmed, I'm assuming it's confirmed, A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. The swing point, which will be the high of June, uh, June 3rd, uh, there was 304,000 shares. We get, we're passing with a wide-ranging bar, 698,000 shares. So on PPTA, and I'm going to go ahead and switch screens out here, we'll draw in that A to B equals CD pattern for you. So if you give me a moment, that way I can give you a dead-on balls accurate reading as to where that A to B equals CD pattern ought to take us to. So let's do this here. Let's uh, come back and start our A point at the low. And that low looks like it's going to be, let me just see, that is 
501-502-557. It's going to be the low from uh, June 28th. That's your A point. That's going to be one of them. We're going to draw a couple different A to B equals CD patterns. And if you know what, let's draw the large. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's draw the larger one in here. We're going to start with February 28th. That's going to be our A point right about there. The B point is going to be the high from June the 4th. And then the C point is going to be, in essence, where we were looking here at that $5 level. So the one-to-one -one price projection, and there's several of them out here, I believe. We'll take a look and see if there's anything on the weekly. 945 is the number out there. So you were asking, should you stay in? That was one of the questions you asked of me. And my answer to that is yes. I don't see how anything can happen as you know, but I don't see anything here to suggest that you get out of this trade. If we take a look at this, may be the same A to B equals CD pattern when I punch this up on the weekly time frame. So let's uh, take a look and see if in fact that is. Uh, this one here I know will be totally accurate because it's easy to, to grab the high and the low swing points out there. And is this the low? Is this the low? That is 263. This got down to 269. So 263 is the number. So, uh, okay, so there's uh, the 1 to 1.618. A to B equals CD pattern on a weekly time frame, a larger time frame, is up at 878. So I'd say your next upside pr price targets are 878 to 945 out there. But uh, I would stay in PPTA. Got a nice little breakout that's going today. So, LB, I hope that helps you out. And as always, good to hear from you, and thanks so much for your request. Mohammed writes in, and Mohammed wants to take a look at ticker symbol ADI. Let's just pull ADI up on uh, my black background screen here. At least I know where we're at. We're trading about 222 and change out here. Uh, we are trading above the top of its daily profile. We like to see that. Uh, we are in uh, bar number five. You're not seeing that, but I'll put up the other screen. Just here on the weekly chart, you can see we're back inside that profile. And on the uh, monthly time frame, price pulled back this month, test and rejected the top of the profile. Let's go over those white background charts. we got a bit more information out there. And so let's take a look at those. And on the daily time frame, you'll see we're in bar number five. So, and we are also potentially in an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. The B point would have been from a couple days ago, volume of 4 million shares. Today we've done 828,000. So, a little bit lighter on the uh, volume standpoint, but still I see an A to B equals CD pattern. What well, looks like an A to B equals CD pattern. I'm just uncertain about that retracement out there. Is that a 0.382? I'm going to assume at this stage here it's close enough for our work. And that A to B equals CD, Mohammed, would get you up towards a 232 level. Turns out that the center of the weekly profile is 234.10. The asset and change line currently printed 227, and change is going to move higher out there. So I would say odds favor ADI is headed towards that 230 area. You do have that nice TD9 count top on the uh, weekly uh, chart, maybe a roads meant to indicator top, but price has held support. It's trading above the green asset and change line. Its signal is neutral. It ain't neutral on the weekly, and it's not neutral on the daily. ADI should continue to move higher. When we come back from this breakout here, I believe we're going to go get a cup of Java. Is that it? No, that must be bulk carriers. SBLK is the instrument that I believe that we're going to take a look at, and possibly Nordic American tankers. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, You've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we've got the uh, Dow trading up uh, 463 points, S&P up 75, NASDAQ 10404, Russell's up 52, Semi's up 207. Let's get back to our request out here, that request line showing star bulk carries, SBLK, out here. So what do we know about this? This formed a wave number seven and TD9 count bottom pattern back on August the 5th out there. So you've got your bottom. Uh, what price has been unable to do out here, McGuppy, is uh, even get back to profile levels. So the resistance zone, if this is just a counter trend move, would be between 22.17 and 22.15. If price closes back below the oscillator and change line, it's red. That's what it's testing right now. That level would be a close below 21.06. Then that could indicate that we're going to go test that TD9 count bottom, the trading session of August the 5th. On a weekly time frame, we don't have any kind of a bottom pattern. Even if this is an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom out there. So we don't have that. Um, so not really great. On a weekly, a monthly time frame, TD9 count top did find support at 2025. So 2025 is going to be a very key level for you to watch. So you got the daily TD9 count bottom. The weekly is not assisting you. The monthly is with regard to support. It closed below 2025. Let's see what's the low of that swing point. It is at 2006. So a close below 2006 is going to suggest move to 1712. Um, you really need to see this thing get some traction and get up towards that $22 level. Your question was basically, which looks better, star bulk carriers or the next one we're going to look at, which is Nordic American tankers. So we know that on the monthly chart, prices found support. The weekly's got nothing. The daily's got a bottom. Well, what can we find out about Nordic American tankers? Nordic American tankers had an A to B equals CD pattern, and that went ahead and formed back on August the 8th when a bullish hammer candle formed. This, too, is a, is a below profile support. Now, on a daily basis, because it's well above uh, the uh, red oscillator and change line, and we're seeing higher highs and higher lows out there, on a daily basis, we like Nordic American tankers. However, if it's just a counter trend rally, and that's a possibility, McGuppy, price would uh, find resistance at 370 out there. That's the bottom of his profile. But get back inside his profile, you'll have a battle at 330, 377, followed by 384. The weekly chart of Nordic American tankers looks better, absolutely. It's completing a TD9 count bottom pattern this week. So the low is in, 
price should rally towards 376. So you got 370 to contend with and 376. And we like the monthly better than star bulk carriers. Why? Because uh, it's still got a TDI account top. It's been in a sideways consolidation, but we can see that the top of the monthly profile at 351, McGuppy has held their support. If you're asking me which of these two are the better looking charts, I think it's hands down Nordic American tankers. So thanks for taking the time to write in. Hope that gave the information you were looking for and best of luck to you. Dude is also inside the Tiger's Den and Dude wants to take a look at Viagra. VGR is the uh, ticker symbol. No, just kidding. I don't even know what VGR is. It just kind of came out. That's the Vector Group. And we take a look at the Vector Group on a daily time frame. Hey, dude, you got to love this. Prices trading above uh, profile resistance. It's trading above prior swing point. It's trading above its green oscillator and change line. That says that the Vector Group wants to head north. If we look at the weekly time frame, we've got that same message out there in bar number six. Let's see if there's any kind of resistance that we can easily identify. And we're trading into the swing point that was a TD9 count top. On a weekly basis, takes you back to February 17th of 2023. Volume there was 3.6 million shares. We're into it this week with three, wow, with 3.2 million shares. That's a beautiful thing. Why? If you close inside a swing point with volume, which is what you're going to have, that tells you should go target the high. The high of this from that trading session of February 17th was up at 12.69. So, dude. VGR, you're asking, we'll get to 1739. Hey, one step at a time. And that first step is going to be the big one. Can price overcome that TD9 count top on the daily time frame? Can it close above that high? And again, that high out there is at uh, 1439. So you're going to want to watch that. Price is moving into that. It most certainly should test that level. On a monthly time frame, the area to watch here is 1386. It's a TD9 count breakdown resistance level, which has been taken out before. But the last time that we were up here, that was back on uh, February, February of 2023, that held as resistance. So as beautiful as it looks on the daily, and really as beautiful as it looks on the weekly, you do have some resistance to contend with out here. And that resistance, those TD9 count breakdown levels can be areas where price would actually turn. Now, if you can get above 1386, then 1530 becomes the number. So that's what we see when we take a look at tick symbol VGR. Will it get to 1739? Boy, before it gets there, you've got to deal with those resistance levels. So I don't know the answer to that question. Of course, nor does really anyone. But what you do know is you know where the battlegrounds are at. And if you can take, if the bulls can take over those things, then yeah, you can get back to that high. I suppose that's probably the high from December of 2021. They get you back to that 17. 39 level, which is your target. So it's got some work to do in order to get up there. So best of luck to you on that trade. And as always, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. That was a limp ticker symbol statement, Steve. Oh, gee, limp, huh? Very cute. Very cute out there. I don't think so. That looks like it's headed very, very far. I think VGR, that, they ought to change that to Viagra for sure. In any event out there, let's go take the SMCI. That's for David in Panama City. And, uh, David, I apologize. I don't remember what you're looking for because I was multitasking out here. Can I just give you the review? I think David in Panama City just said absolutely. So what we see out here is a wave number seven bottom. That's courtesy. It's courtesy of one small portion of the Chapman wave. You should understand the Chapman wave tool. So wave number seven bottom. And today, David, we are trading above that red oscillator and change line. So that's a beautiful thing. Your next price target, your next level of resistance is what I should say, is up between 754.93 and 772.75 out there. 772.75 is where a counter trend move to the upper upside would end. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, you have an A to B equals CD pattern. You'd love to see a bullish reversal candle, um, which in essence, because it's, uh, well, um, price did find support at the bottom of its profile out there. So things are looking pretty good. What you'd really like to see, we haven't seen price close above the high of a prior weekly candle uh, for some time out here. So what you'd like to see uh, David, if this is going to remain bullish, not that it can't, but you'd love to see this. If it's going to give you the big bull signal out there, you'll see a close on Friday above 628.79. If we get that, that's adding to the idea of a further rally. Now, on a monthly time frame, what price has to overcome and deal with is a 685-ish area out there, probably more like 690 but if price were to get up there. But that's that oscillator and change line that price is trading below. So daily, looks like it's headed higher. 
Weekly, I would say the same thing. I feel better if we close above the high from last week out there as far as with regard to the rally continuation. So that's what I see when I take a look at SMCI. This is going to be day number five to the upside. Let's pull over that chart here while we've got a few seconds out there. So day number five to the upside. And that in itself is a beautiful thing that suggests we should see a further rally. What you'd be looking at here is you'd be looking for one or two bar pullback maybe to add to your position or so. Again, I don't remember what you were looking for, but this certainly does look bullish at this moment in time. When we come back from this break, David had a twofer, and the second one was Oracle, O-R-C-L. So look at your charts, folks. Tell me what you see out there or tell yourselves what you see. Play that game at home. Is it bullish on the daily? That's my first question to you. Where is it headed to on the weekly? And how about that monthly time frame chart? Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So we're going to go take a look at Oracle. This is for David H. in uh, Panama City. And so, David, when we take a look at uh, uh, Oracle on a daily time frame three days ago, really yesterday you got a, a, a confirmed Profile change in trend. Price closed above profile. We look at the daily time frame chart here. What you'll notice is the first time that we've closed above the top of the daily profile since uh, the trading day of July 1st of 2024 out there. So that's a positive. And that suggests a further rally. I don't have any resistance levels on the daily time frame here in bar number five. You can get towards those resistance levels in three to five trading sessions. I'm not saying this is going to form a TD9 count top, but that's the only thing that I have out there. The rally should continue. 
The weekly uh, suggests the same thing. One, we closed above last, we're trading above last week's high. We're trading back inside its profile, and its price target should be between 138.30 and 148.18. On a monthly time frame for Oracle, you don't have any kind of a topping pattern. You had uh, the uh, daily Roadsman indicator top take price lower. That ran into support, which was that green oscillator and change line at 129.31 right now. So its signal is bullish. So the monthly is bullish. The uh, daily is bullish. And the weekly is, eh, we don't know just yet. But 138.30 to 148.18 should be that upside price target. So I hope that that helps you out, uh, David. And as always, thank you so much for taking time uh, to send in your request out there. So we got through all the requests. Let's go back and take a look at those 30-minute time frame charts for you. Let's update you on those patterns that we were taking a look at earlier in the show. And the first one is the ES Mini. It's going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top in the next minute and a half. Uh, no, I'm sorry, in the next four minutes out there so watch that uh watch 12 noon if at 12 30 price closes above the high whatever the high of the pattern is i don't, I don't want to give that to you now because i don't know that this is the high out there so whatever the high in the pattern is in the es mini price closes above that on a 30 minute basis for this time frame tells you about a strong upward momentum move you're going to be in bar number eight in the nq as we come to 12 noon that pattern won't complete until 1 p.m out there but watch that 12 30 session as it gets to bar number nine We've got a TD9 count top that's going to complete in four minutes inside the Russell 2000. So downside targets for the ES, about 55.33. For the Russell, about 21.33 to 21.25. Uh, and I uh, can't really tell you on that. Thank you. Folks, have a terrific Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.